What up YouTube? First Moto Vlog here on my way to work. Brought to you by Twisted Triple. So, not real sure what all to talk about here. I guess I'll just uh, talk about whatever comes to mind on the on my ride into work. Driving downtown from the beaches. Gonna jump on Butler Boulevard here. God, all these slow people, man. I love this turn. I cook it onto this on-ramp. What are we doing, 40? This is like a 60 mile an hour on-ramp for me. One thing I absolutely love about driving a bike is the gas mileage. The gas mileage when I'm driving to and from downtown every day. And of course the speed. All right, let's see how many people are on their cell phones today. <laughs> she was eating. I think she was eating a payday. <laughs> I don't understand why. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I got this weird cough going on. It's no bueno. Mucho no gusta. I don't know what I just said. Los fiesta en las pantalones for the motorbike. So right now I'm averaging 44 miles per gallon, which isn't bad. I'm just cruising. Usually when I'm, you know, scooting around the beaches, I'm getting around 60. So this is my bike, 2013 Triumph Street Triple R. Her name is Marilyn. She's a she's a pretty classy broad. Marilyn, say hello. Thanks for saying hello. How are you doing today? Oh, yeah? Huh. All right, well, she says hello, everybody. Uh, I hope you guys can hear me when I'm cruising right now. I do have the, uh, a chin, I guess I would call it a wind eliminator. Just a little mesh piece that goes under my chin. Just, uh, to help remove uh, a lot of the wind noise. Um, so I'm using the GoPro Hero 3 Silver Edition. Uh, right now it's at 1080p, 30 frames a second. Um, using the Olympus uh, ME52. Yummy R6 recommended that. Thank you very much, Yummy R6. You guys should go check out his channel. He's a pretty sweet guy, rides a pretty awesome uh, R6. Marilyn, she's a 675R, three-cylinder, great sound. I, I got her because I, uh, I used to ride the Super Sports for my, for my daily, and I, I wanted something a little more comfortable. I do drive a 87 Jeep Wrangler. What, what, Jeep, Jeep, hashtag Jeep Live. But it's shit for gas mileage, and it's broken down on me a few times on my way out here to work. So I bought this bike much better, get to work a lot quicker. That thing maybe topped out at like 62, and then anything higher than 65, she clunk out on me. But this baby right here, mm, I could sit like this all day. Mm, so far nobody on their cell phone, surprising. Oh, traffic, traffic, looking for my chapstick. There's a phone, Maverick, fun part. I love doing that. See, I couldn't do that in like a car. Or maybe if I was in like a, I don't know, my car choice would be WRX. Yep. That deep sound noise. Damn. It's a sexy ass car. That's a little Chinese man. Yep. One thing that I don't see a lot on my ride to work, which I, which is kind of upsetting, is I don't get to ride with other people much, you know? I, I don't ever see any other bikers out. Like right now, it's a 
you know, October, the weather's starting to change. It feels great outside. It does. It feels absolutely amazing down here in Jacksonville. Um, at night, it's really nice and cool, and then in the day, it kind of warms up. Still has that cool weather, you know, when you're driving. Feels great. I do have the uh, waterproof liner um, inside of my jacket instead of just going mesh. Um, so that that actually helps a lot with the uh, with the wind chill when I'm riding at night. Uh, I'm using the first gear uh, summer jacket. Oh, I just hit a bug. That was gross. Big old bug. Big girl in the Civic. Two door. What, what? Tomorrow I'm gonna order the SC Project uh, conical exhaust for my bike and hopefully that'll be here in a few weeks. I'll make another video, the installation on that. I did take off the rear passenger pegs on my bike. It makes it look a lot sleeker and I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna order the, uh, the Competition Works Fender Eliminator kit to remove this this big ass uh, big ass license plate mount on the back of my bike. It looks kinda ugly. It really does. Pretty pretty gross. I'll probably put up uh, another video showing how I wired my helmet for the for the microphone. Pretty cool. I I've seen some guys where they uh, they actually wire it all the way around their helmet. And then have the microphone stick out um, just by the mouthpiece. Well, not, I mean, there's no mouthpiece in the helmet, but uh, where your, your mouth would go, right right here at the front of the, the front of the helmet. I want to get around this bourbon. I don't think I'll be able to. Yeah, I can. Oh, it's a damn Mitsubishi. That's whose fault it is. I think I was like 80. I was like 80 years old, driving and just chilling, like, let's turn up some biggie. Oh. 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 Come on. Ha. Sicker than your average. Pop a twist cabbage off instinct. Niggas don't mix. I love this turn. Let's get over. Yep, see, I usually take the inside there. But I guess that's not going to happen today. I'll cook it around this this turn, getting on to 95 here. Oh snap, here we go. That infinity was kinda sick. Not bad. Look at this guy, he's getting back over into the merge lane. I don't know where you, I don't know where you think you're going. Like you fucking live here. You have a Jacksonville plate on your car, you should know where you're going. I can't stand that. People who live in town and they don't know where they're going, that's ridiculous. But anyways, back, back to how I wired my helmet, I put the mouthpiece just right there, boom. It comes out right there, boom. So I may be only using about this much wire, and then right here in the middle I have everything twist it up with little twisty ties and I stuck it on the inside of the padding on the inside of my helmet. I'm not really fond of the idea of wrapping wire circular around the inside of my helmet. I don't really like that. I I would maybe get like this choking feeling. Let's let's get over here. Oh snap another guy on a bike. Let's catch up. That's not good. He just pulled over. He's on a pusa. I don't know what he's doing. What was he doing? I don't know. I don't understand why someone would need 1400 or 1300 cc's, you know, the pusa or the, or the ZX-14. That's just ridiculous. I mean, if you want to go fast in a really long straight line and Maybe some of those adrenaline junkie guys out there, but you know this Marilyn here, she she can get up and go. I mean, naked bike, no bearings or anything. So once I get up to like eh, 125, it's kind of takes me a while to get up to around 130, 140. She'll get up there. I'm not saying I speed all the time. Hypothetically saying, I mean I'm just saying. 
I don't know if you guys listen to music. I've, I've watched a, a lot of videos on whether or not it's safe to ride with listening to music. I'm not gonna lie. Every day on my ride to work to and from, I'm listening to music. Right now, no, I'm not. I'm talking to you guys so you guys can hear me. And so I can, can kind of hear myself, really. I'm not saying I can't hear myself when I'm listening to music, but I would just get distracted with talking to you guys. I don't know, leave your leave your opinions in your in your comments below whether or not you enjoy listening to music. I'm gonna squeeze over here behind the mini. Got a little close to that Cooper. The mini. The mini Cooper. You know what I find really funny? I watch a lot of Double T 90s videos, and you know who he sounds like? He sounds just like Badger from Breaking Bad. And it's great, I love watching his videos. It reminds me of Breaking Bad. And he can do some pretty sweet wheelies. That is a big ass thing of carpet right there. Shit, and I just hit a piece of wood. I hope that didn't have any fucking nails in it. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll get the front wheel up right here for you guys. See who's where. Nope. Nope, nothing. Nothing came up. Maybe, maybe a little bit, maybe a few inches. I'm still getting used to the first gear clutch ups. Um, it is a 675 three cylinder. The gearing ratio is a little different from the from the Daytona. Um, a little bit. <laughs> Got a little squirrely there, going over that gravel. All right, guys, later. Just kidding. I'm at work now, so I will be letting you guys go. All right, thanks for watching my my first moto vlog. Later, guys.